Welcome back to Alice Customs Project Car TV, and thanks for coming back. Uh, back on the International Scout, and what I've got today is the rear body mounts, which is this almost a, a rectangular piece of tubing, although it's all sheet metal. There's a seam down here at the bottom, and then it I think it's all essentially one piece up into this floor, and, and I'm not going to try and replace that whole rib. A, it's not available if I wanted to buy it or something. And B, um, the, the part that's damaged is, is this piece here. And it actually is pretty good between these two uh, front to rear supports. So we're really just probably going to cut it off out here next to this rib on each side and then replace everything this way um, as, as part of the process here. I think we're gonna end up taking part of this quarter panel off just to get access to repair the metal in there. And then we'll either get a patch panel or make one or something to, uh, to repair this metal as well. But we're gonna do this on both sides. I'm gonna start on the passenger side, um, mostly just because I got better light and view for the camera. But as I go through this side, we'll, this side is actually not as bad as the driver's side which you can see over there and there's basically no metal left in here at all um, even the what would be the uh, b or c pillar i guess b pillar the bottom of it at the back of the door is just completely rusted out and gone and you, you couldn't see that from inside the vehicle you can only see it once all this is out of the way at some point in this vehicle's life somebody sprayed a, sprayed a lot of uh, foam spray expanding foam into these corners. I've gotten most of it out of the driver's side, but on the passenger side, there's quite a bit of it, like right in here. So we're gonna cut back all of this area and get in there and start pulling that foam out so that when we start cutting and welding, we're not catching everything on fire. Um, the inner and outer rocker look to be in pretty decent shape. Most places we'll probably have a few areas that we're gonna work on, but uh, we're, the goal is to get this area and this body support uh, replaced and rebuilt, as well as the interior panel here that is rotted out from the inside. So. All right, well, now we've got a pretty good idea of the amount of work we're going to have ahead of us. Um, somebody, and I'm quite sure all this, well, it's under the gray paint. So this was done in the 80s, uh, late 80s. Um, the body shop scabbed a piece of metal over the old outer rocker, and there's just a nasty weld in here. They didn't actually, it looks like, fix whatever's wrong underneath it. So we'll be cutting some of this out. There's just chunks of weld and, and rust here. There's rust in this. Plus I can see the, the bubbling of the rust. So I've cut it here and across. It's, it's more or less loose at the bottom down here now. I just gotta, I'm gonna drill out um, any spot welds that are in here, but there's also a bunch of goober welds inside this as well. So it's gonna take a few minutes and then we'll get this piece off get it out of the way and we can see what, what we've got behind it that we've got to work on.
got all this essentially cleaned out now and you see how much mess we had in there um, there was another mouse nest obviously and there's still some some hay up in this section so right now all of this is rusted out and of course this rocker panel is completely gone so what I'm going to do is is try and cut as little of this out as possible that I can then use as a pattern to rebuild. And I want to rebuild this inner structure and this outer structure of this B pillar. And then once that's done, we'll come back, we'll rebuild this rocker, this inner rocker portion. And then we'll go in here and rebuild the inside part of this panel because it'll be, once this is all structurally strong, then we can take out a little more at a time. All right, guys, as you can see, I kind of, uh, as I got more and more of this taken out of the way, the piece that used to be right here flat, that one was just a couple tack wells right here, so that wasn't too big a deal to get out of the way. This one required uh, getting a couple tack wells broke loose and then getting it out of the way. That gave me access here, and I need to replace this body mount piece, and you can see I got a lot of it loose. Um, so I've kind of decided I'm going to cut right across there and then I'll replace that piece of metal all the way around to this seam that you can kind of see here. Um, so what I'm saying is I, I kind of changed the order I was going to do stuff. I was going to just try and do a little bit over here and a little bit over here and it wasn't working. I, I needed to get some of this other stuff out of the way. So I think the next step is I'm going to come in drill out the spot wells on this rib and it, it's joined right here so i'm going to get this just the curved piece out of the way and it's in good shape so we can reuse it and then i will come in and cut basically behind it and cut all the way up to my line that i started cutting there and take this piece out and replace it and whatever right in this area that i can get to right away and then come back and work on the uh, rocker panel because it looks like I'm going to have to split the top of this seam off and then I definitely need to replace at least at least to this seam um, as far as that outer rocker and um, we'll, we'll just remake that out of some 16 gauge sheet metal as long as we do it and you know, we could probably do it up to about 50 inches long and still get it in my bender, but I, I don't think I have any material that long right now. So we'll be doing this all in fairly short 16, 24 inches long pieces. Um, there's a bunch of undercoating on here from who knows when. And if you saw that air hammer, you just put a chisel on your air hammer and you can knock a lot of times, knock a lot of that off to clean things up. So if not a wire wheel on your grinder will do it. Well, as you can see, I've had to take out substantially more than I really thought I was going to have to. As I was sectioning up this uh, body mount rib, you know, that mounts to, that goes onto this, um, 
I just kept finding rust all the way up through here. And there's still quite a bit of surface rust inside here, but it's not rusted through anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the little hump piece. And hopefully I don't have to replace as much on that side as, as I had to cut out over here. Um, additionally, all of this structure is just trashed. It's, there's probably not much that I'm going to be able to save in here. So I've gone the next step of adding a brace up to the, uh, up to the B pillar and down to a uh, place I cleaned off on the rocker. And then just to help stabilize that more, I put a vertical here. So now I can really come in and cut out some more of this corner um, and probably part of this rocker and just kind of do it all, uh, get it all out of the way at once. I think that's in the end going to be the easiest uh, solution. So I've got to get a piece of the inside skin off um, because there's basically nothing there anyway. So we'll get it out of the way. I think I can just from about where this bolt was, I think I can just cut that off all the way around and try and leave the outside skin because for whatever reason, that's actually still in pretty good shape. And then just come back and kind of build everything from the inside out to it and then do the rocker, um, build up a new rocker. And I'm gonna start with this section from this seam and work my way this way. There's one uh, change in height here that has to get accomplished so that the quarter panel has somewhere to tuck into because it should be flush with this skin, so. As you can tell, I've gone pretty much full tilt on this. Um, the inner rocker had a couple places that were rusted through at the top, so I was starting to cut out rectangles. You see that come out. Um, and then I just said, you know what the heck with it, I'll just cut it off and make a whole new piece. No, it's two bins and about eight, 16, 18 inches of material. Um, so, I'm, so that'll be one of the first pieces we make is the inner rocker. And then I'll build up this uh, body mount area and the floor, and then kind of fill in the corner again. Um, most of these are smaller pieces, and uh, it had some stuff that was bolted together, and I don't, I'm not gonna worry about that at all. I'm just gonna weld everything in, so. And then we'll reattach like the, the rib that would have been in here, because um, there's nothing wrong with it, and we took it off so that it could be reused. I got it though, we got all the rust out through here. There's one hole right here on the inside panel. So I'll probably end up before I fill this, I'll put a piece of copper back here and weld through and, and just fill the hole. But uh, there's just so much rust in this thing that you just, you know, to do it right, you just keep going until you get to some clean metal. So we have a nice, pretty straight edge here. We can build down on that and that, that panel and the floor panel, that I'll just make one piece that has the L in it for that. And then I'll make the, uh, the rib that will go here for the body mount. And you know, all that will piece back together pretty quick. It's really not even that much material. So it's just gonna take a little time. The outer rocker will probably take the most time because it's actually got a step right here where the, where the uh, quarter panel comes down so I think I mentioned that earlier um, so that's it that's the end of the day and uh, this ta has taken about probably five five and a half hours into removing all of this so um, tomorrow I'll lay out all the pieces and we'll kind of go over them and start making some patterns tonight's done I'm gonna get everything cleaned up in the morning and then we'll get started on making the other pieces so see you in the morning